It's a fumarole. It's gas. It's very strong. Very strong. Highly acidic. This whole area is in the process of drying up. The increasingly concentrated acid can barely be seen, hidden beneath layers of crystallized salts. The air, too, is increasingly saturated with acid. As the temperatures rise, all these little ponds dry up. As long as there's water in the depths, the activity continues in Dalol. Look, Romain, that one at your feet. It's really incredible. It's really stone lace. Salt is a rock. It's a mineral. Dalal is the incredible result of the interaction between hydrology and volcanism. The magma here lies at a depth of 10,000 feet, and the thermal flow is very important. Remember to keep enough space between you so you spread out the weight because the ground is fragile. You spread out a little there. And don't forget, there's acid underneath, and it's hot. Here, it rises fast. We get to 60 or 70 degrees Celsius. Pure acid at 70 degrees Celsius. That's really aggressive. Keep away from it. Guy has just spotted a new area of activity on Dalal that has only existed for a few weeks, about 10 minutes from the main volcano. The danger is different. On a traditional volcano, with lava flows or explosive ejections, you don't control the situation anymore, but you understand the danger. Here, the problem is you don't understand the danger, and you don't know where it's coming from. I love coming to see Dalol because I know every time I'll discover new sites. I learn something, but I always worry about bringing people here. Dalol is both heaven and hell. The Afar themselves say that Dalol is hell. The group leaves the center of Dalal to reach the eastern end of the crater. It, too, is a totally unexpected sight. We're still on the volcano, but there's no activity here. No fracturing, no gases, no lava projections. Dalal remains an enigma. Despite appearances, we're still at Dalal. This whole area which is unlike anything you've seen up to now, is full of canyons. It's a labyrinth of canyons heading in all directions. A whitish, impermeable cap made up of androphyte, gypsum, and clay has protected the layer of salt below from erosion. The runoff water eats away the salt, except for that which lies directly beneath these caps. The project of a national park is understudied to protect this unique setting that is already doing pretty well at defending itself alone. You approach Dalal and leave it again in the same way, on tiptoe. The group's journey to this geological paradise comes to an end. They leave this incredible corner of the world where the earth shapes itself before your very eyes.